Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, a lot of you are going through a heart chakra cleansing and subsequently activation or an activation which is leading to the clearing, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, 
Uh, okay, what the Queen of Wands did catch my eye just now with the Six of Pentacles. Um, you're really coming into your own. It's like you're getting the courage to stand up for yourself in many situations, Libra. That's fantastic. Clearing out old energy to fill it up with the new. I really feel like many of you just could be fed up of the old ways that things have been going down, the old situations, the same old situations you may be attracting in your life. And you're coming to the point where you're really starting to take control over your manifestation abilities in order to manifest something that's much better suited for what you desire to experience out of life. And that's beautiful, Libra. It's really beautiful. Also, with the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign energy, potentially Aries, more specifically. Um, this is also a depiction of the Queen of the Divine Feminine. So, those of you that are on the Twin Flame situ in the Twin Flame situation, um, you're really looking for a situation or relationship. You don't have to be in a Twin Flame relationship or on a Twin Flame journey to resonate with this part. But um, as the Queen of Wands energy, you're really wanting to attract a situation that is much more balanced, much more reciprocal. Balanced between the give and the take. Yes? Okay, Libra. One more shuffle for you, and then we're gonna get started. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Excellent. Here we go, Libra. All right, overall energy for you, Libra. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, so, all right. Um, this heart chakra activation and clearing um, is really helping you set your sights on what it is you ultimately want to achieve or experience in your life, like I just said um, in the shuffle. <clears throat> but this is, the Ten of Pentacles is finances and career, it could be. So some of you could really be coming into alignment with what you really want to be doing in your life over the long term, or finding some sort of business opportunity that could, uh, help you put away finances or, um, put away savings, you know, to really build, uh, I'm think I'm seeing or feeling some energies of like a, a 401k type situation. Um, for others of you, this is just investment in family, doing what it is you need to do so that you can have the family that you, sorry guys, that you can have the, the family that you desire, putting forth the effort towards doing so, okay? This is very much from your place, from your newfound uh clearness within your heart chakra, you're really getting focused on the long term, okay? Ten of Pentacles, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, wow. So many of you are coming into, or you already are in this Nine of Pentacles state, and so now you are really taking the steps to go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. That's beautiful. I mean, many of you have really come into this place of independence, of understanding who you are, or uh, what you stand for, what you really want in your life, and putting yourself in a place of abundance and power to manifest it, to achieve it. This is definitely a card of being single. This is the Bachelor Bachelorette card for some of you. I really feel like that's most of you, actually. It's like you're not, and you're you're remain you're choosing to remain single because you're because you're not looking, you're not into settling. You can't reach the ten of pentacles if you're just gonna settle for whatever comes through that might resemble what you're looking for. Fuck that, ain't nobody got time for that shit, right? Excellent. Hey now, the chariot, and it, actually the chariot did come out in the pre shuffle here. Came out with something else, but I don't remember. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. Um, don't have to be, but this is actually you, Libra, getting balanced, doing the work to clear out your heart chakra, which is then going to help you move forward. You're getting your emotions in balance. Your mind, your mind and your heart are coming into a place of understanding and corroboration, working with each other. Good Lord. <laughs> in order to move forward. But then, all of a sudden, you've got this Nine of Swords energy. And actually, something else wanted to pop out underneath that. Aha! The Four of Wands energy. So, this is why the Nine of Swords is here. For some of you, 
who are, a little, this is more specific for those of you that are on a twin flame journey. Some of you really may have walked away from your divine masculine is what I'm hearing. That's a common theme around town. And so now you're all like, oh my God, am I ever going to get this union? Yes, of course you are, silly face. <laughs> But you see, you're coming into union with yourself, okay? So that is why you have the power and the balls to walk away from your divine masculine or from your divine feminine. It doesn't matter. It's just that mostly on the twin flame situation, it's the divine feminine that's walked away. But again, you don't have to be a twin flame to resonate with that. You could have been in some sort of toxic relationship in which you decided to walk away from it because you have decided to love yourself and to honor yourself. So good on you. There's that heart chakra activation. Yes. <laughs> Getting into your first set of energies for the month of December, first set of surrounding energies in your first half, you've got the Knight of Swords. This could be you. This could be another air sign, specifically a Gemini, um, but it doesn't have to be. Arguments, battles, egotism, shoot first, ask questions later. Pick your battles wisely, Libra. Knight of Swords is coupled with the Tower. So there could be a situation in your life where you had some sort of argument, um, you had some sort of conversation that really set something straight for you, um, or... There could be there could be a tower moment that happens because someone decides to pop off at the mouth. This could have happened already, or it could be something that's coming on down the pipeline for you. Uh, but either way, I really feel like this is going to be a good thing because it's going to help you see something much clearer than you had before. It may actually be that situation that puts you in this Nine of Pentacles state to then really go after what it is you want in the form of the Ten of Pentacles, all right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. You've got the world. Yep, you see? There's some sort of situation, some sort of argument, some fight, some conversation, whatever, that comes through here that really brings a tower moment that then ultimately brings an end to a cycle. Um, and, and, and with the world, this is not something that's going to be completed overnight. While it is a completion, it's not something that happens too quickly because this is a major overarching energy. So you have to really let the physical depiction of your existence catch up to that of the energy. So don't expect this to be like an overnight thing. Some of you might be dealing with divorce. Who knows? But um, this is going to take some time, but the cycles are ending. It's coming to an end. The world is coupled with, yeah, the three of wands. And you are now in a position to reap the benefits of what you've worked so hard towards, the investments that you've put in here, um, especially as the Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, now, for some of you, you're getting kind, kind of confused. It's like, well, wait a second. If a relationship, if a karmic tie is ending, how am I, re how am I waiting for some ships to come in? Well, because you have been doing some sort of good work on yourself that has gotten you to the point where you can look at this face this tower moment and see the potential in what is being cleared away for you, right? So there, from that point of view, you have the ability to, you're, you have the ability to now wait on that return of your investment. All you have to do is just keep the momentum going, okay? Your challenge for the first half of this reading here, you've got... The Five of Wands, conflict, chaos, confusion, um, inner battles or battles with the outside world, people that don't, um, that are putting their two cents into a situation that they don't really need to be putting their, sticking their nose into, differing of opinions within yourself or within others. Um, you know, you might deal with some confusion of how to go about something, whether you really should be going about something, but ultimately it. Once you bring yourself into balance, I really, like, I really feel like it'll all come into to clear view for you. But that you know, this chaotic energy, this confusion, this inner battle is very much a challenge for you right now, and that's coupled with the Six of Swords because you're having to move away from something. All right, you're moving forward, and you could be really conflicted by it. Like uh, a general scenario, if you've been with someone for a very long time and you're coming to realize that the situation is toxic and you're trying to move on, well, you could be confused about it. You could be have differing opinions, mainly in the form of, I've been with this person for so long, why should I give up now? But it's not giving up 
it's honoring yourself. If you know that the situ this is just a scenario, it might be resonating with somebody, but if you know that the situation is toxic, why would you want to stay in it? Right? The final message or potential outcome for this first half here, you've got temperance. Excellent. This is Sagittarian energy, but this is um, <clears throat> uh, alchemy, balance, and patience. Having patience with, patience with yourself, having patience with the universe, especially if you're in this position of waiting for your ships to come in. You just got to be patient and let the universe do its work on your behalf in the background. Temperance is coupled with, hey now, judgment. Answer, the call is being answered. The call has been received. In, the most, in most cases, the call is answered. You've accepted the mission. Now just let temperance do its job. Let the universe work out the kinks. Let the universe work out the details. You just follow the guidance. It's all you got to worry about. Your second set of energies for the month of December, you've got, hey now, there's the Ten of Cups, Libra. Mm -hmm. Everything you've always wanted. And I love it. I love it when the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups comes out at the same time in the same reading, because they really go hand in hand. They're both family cards. They're both about ultimate fulfillment. One being in the physical, the Ten of Pentacles, it could mean a job or whatever, finances, or just a family situation, like say a home, um, an ideal situation for your family in the physical world. And the other being your everything you've always wanted on an emotional sense. Beautiful. Ten of Cups is coupled with, oh, the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio specifically, or anybody. This is like a really fulfilling love here. This is the energies of going after it. You would need to clear away some of the things that would keep you from this person, from attracting this person into your life. But I really feel like many of you are on a trajectory. You're, it's like it's almost like you're setting the stage over the course of the month of December in order to attract this person into your life here. <laughs> Coming running to you with arms wide open, that kind of silliness. <laughs> second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. Exactly. This is doing the work to clear, to clear out the space to attract what it is you ultimately desire. I... <clears throat> excuse me for the most part this is um financially speaking i really feel like it's doing the physical work probably for jobs i feel like you're going you either are going to be or you're needing to be work focused on your finances your money your physical representation your own independence and your autonomy um in order for then the emotional side of things to come forward or to come through afterwards it's like you've got to get you really have to continue working towards the ten of pentacles and then the Ten of Cups and King of Cups will follow suit, okay? Eight of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, look at that, the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, so this is doing the work in light of whatever you've learned in retrospect or in hindsight. This is, uh, Seven of Pentacles is indicative of uh, the Sun in Virgo, so this could be something that started during Virgo season for you. Um, it's also, you know, taking stock, taking up this harvest now, seeing what you like and what you don't like about it, weighing the pros and cons, and then figuring out how to um, gain a better harvest in the future. This is very much an energy of you reap what you've sown. So if you don't necessarily like what, you, what, you're, what you're reaping right now, well, you have an opportunity to, to do better work or harder work or different work in order to gain a better or different harvest in the future. This is really an energy of taking stock of what it is you truly want and then putting forth your effort towards that. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you got, yo, the devil. But here I'm really feeling like Libra, your challenge is facing the devil. Because I feel like a lot of you for so long have just been sweeping it under the rug as much as you can. But now it's time to face it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn also. Hmm. The devil is coupled with... Whoa, yeah! The Ten of Swords. Yes! Finally facing the devil, Libra. 
Put that shit to rest. And looky here. Looky here, Libra. Look at that Nine of Swords right there. So this is you potentially in this Nine of Swords energy. And all you got to do, all you got, because you have an ending here with the Nine of Swords. You have lots of endings and lots of completion. You got the Nine of Swords, you got the Nine of Pentacles. Then you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the world. The way that you get yourself out of this Nine of Swords energy, you bring this ending to completion, is by facing the devil. Yep. Go on and do it, honey. You just got just do it. Just rip that band-aid off. Just do it. <laughs> your closing message or the potential outcome here for the second half of your reading, you got a hey, the ace of wands. I know that's right. I mean, what else can I say? You got all this completion and ending here. So why not face the devil so that you can clear all that away and have your brand new creative start? Ace of Wands is coupled with, boop, the Three of Pentacles. Entrepreneurship. Doing what it is you love to do. This is um, self-mastery also. Learning and guiding, being guided, teaching also. Self-mastery. And you master yourself the most when you face your fears and allow that to end, okay? Allow it to come to completion. You are going to be stuck in these energies for as long as you refuse to face it and handle it, deal with it, heal it. The only way that you can heal something is to feel it and then release it. Okay? Let's get your oracle message here for the month of December from the unicorn. Yes. Yes. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. Best messages, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Action. Yep. Underneath the deck, you got goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. And then here, you have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. And look, at, look, look, you've got the chariot in your overall energy here. Now is the time to take that action to start that momentum or to keep take action to keep that momentum going. Yes. All right, Libra. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this guy was helpful and resonated with you. So I am available for private readings. Um, all the information about, you know, my readings, my email address and the offers that I read, uh, the read, wow. The readings that I offer are, Located in the description box below, so go ahead and take a look at that. If you can't decide which uh, which reading to order, shoot me an email. We'll discuss your situation a little bit, and then I will help you pick out what is best for you, what might work best for you. Um, I'm not going to be taking as many readings as normal. I'm going to be taking it a little bit easy during the month of December, but readings are still available. Yes? Uh, okay. Well, with that said, much love to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you the absolute best, and I look forward to connecting with you guys again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!